Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing Tag Tuesday, which I put this up on Twitter to see if you guys actually wanted to see Tag Tuesday because I did it in December when I was doing Vlogmas and then I thought, you know what, I should do the tags I'm tagged in because why not? And <laughs> I do like doing tag videos every now and then, but so you guys all, most of you guys said you wanted to see Tag Tuesday, so that's what I'm doing. and. Today I'm going to be doing the Greatest Showman book tag. This was created by the Irish Reader. I'm so excited and I filmed so much today. So if I seem really like hyped, it's because like I'm like on like, I think I've had too much coffee. It's just too much going on. <laughs> so if I seem like really hyper and this is your first video from me, I'm not always like this. Cool. But this was created by Kevin from the Irish Reader. I really like his channel. So I'll have his original video down below. I believe there was another original, but like this one's focused on the actual song and the soundtracks, you know. I was tagged by Peter from Peter Likes Books, which who I love and I was so excited because like if he didn't tag me to do this, I was going to do this tag anyways. Like because, oh my God. <laughs> I love the film, but like let's talk about the soundtrack in the books because why not? That's not the way it goes. First up is The Greatest Show. Pick the best book that you've read and that gave you all the feels. So my traditional answer would of course be The Virgin Suicides. But today I'm going to be mentioning War Cross by Mary Lou. This is a sci-fi virtual reality kind of book and it's super awesome and it came out like last year and I'm just, I just really want this book to get so much more hype than it has. Like it already has a good amount of hype but it is so good and I loved it with every fiber of my being. Dramatic? Yes, but whatever. <laughs> a Million Dreams. Pick a book that left you dreaming about it after you finished it. And for this, I have The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. And I literally had dreams about this happening to me. And this has happened to me where I've gotten lost in the woods. Not when I was like six, but um, not the point of this video. I'm alive. Oh, you'll never, never be Pick a book where a character finally comes to accept themselves. And for this, I have Ramona Blue, which I love so much. It's by Julie Murphy. And it's about a girl just figuring out her sexuality. She's always identified as a lesbian, but through some course of events, she starts to doubt that and if she maybe labeled herself too soon. And this book has bisexual representation and its own voices for bisexual rep. And it's honestly such an incredible book with a great romance, with a great storyline and really fleshed out characters. I loved it so much. The other side. A book slash character that changed your opinion on them. So I don't know if this is for the worst or for the better, but I'm going to say for the worst. And I'm going to talk about the classic Tamlin from Akumath. And Tamlin, I actually liked in book one. Like if you watch my review when I was like little Julia of A Court in Thrones and Roses, I liked Tamlin, which totally like, I don't really care about him anymore. So yeah, especially in this book, he was an absolute shit. So never enough. <laughs> or book series you cannot get enough of. Of course I have to go with the obvious Stephen King. This is me. You love despite everyone hating. I don't know if this book everyone hates. I actually haven't heard someone talk about this in a book in a while and I haven't talked about it in a long time either. But that is You by Carolyn Kepnes and this doesn't get the best reviews sometimes. I don't know. I haven't checked reviews in a long time, but I love this book so much. It's, it is about a stalker named Joe who stalks this girl and it's told in second person. So it's like, he's following you. It's like so cool and creepy. And yeah, it was a good book. We write the stars. OTP that overcomes a lot to be together. So 
So for this, I have the relationship in Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Sapia. This book was so great, and I know everybody talks about it, but it is about a girl named Eliza, and she writes a famous, she writes and illustrates a famous webcomic series online, and she meets a guy who writes fan fiction for her webcomic series, but she's anonymous online, so they don't know it's her, and it's about their relationship. It's so, so good. Tightrope. an author slash book series that gives you trust issues. Probably <laughs> Cassandra Clare. Like I would hold up Lady Midnight, but it's like in a stack and like, I don't want to get it. But Lord of Shadows broke my heart so much. Next is From Now On. What a bop. A book you've ignored for so long and finally need to read. I have Everyday by David Levithan. I've owned this for so long and I actually own the whole duology. All I know is like this person like can go into a different body every single day and yeah, I haven't read it yet, but there's gonna be a film for it soon, I think. So yeah. So there you guys have it. That was the the greatest showman book tag. I'm going to be tagging Dylan, which I know Peter tagged him, but I'm gonna be tagging him too just in case he hasn't done it yet. Um, and because I know he loves the film. I don't know who else to tag. I don't know who else loves the film, but like even if you will know, you gotta love the film. Okay, <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye.